Hi everybody, welcome back to another episode of Jennifer's Layer. Um, today I'm gonna go do a crystal uh Christie's Crystals haul. Um, if you're wondering why I'm wearing this blanket, it is because I got a lot of sun today. I actually was out um planting some more plants. I do have a lily garden, so I planted a couple lilies today, and then I was planting hostas. And I got some chives and some sage in my garden and some little tiny, like, plants that are, I don't I can't remember all the plants, but I did do some succulents, too, in my husband's garden. He's got, like, a little turtle garden. He's got, like, turtle little st statues in his garden. It's cute. And I have a deer and a fawn in mine. And then I also have, there is a horse that I bought. It's like made out of uh, concrete, but I haven't placed it anywhere yet because I don't really know where to put it. I'm thinking I'm just going to leave it on the patio for now anyways until I can find a spot. But anyways, I got so much sun, I look like a lobster. I'm burnt. <laughs> uh, it hurts. It really does hurt. And I feel like I'm radiating heat right now, which sucks. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I thought today I would do a Christie's Crystals video, so let's get into it. I am going to first show off, um, show off the card. There's a business card, but where did it go? I'm trying to find the business. Oh, here we go. Here's the business card. <clears throat> this is uh, the business card for Christie's Crystals. Now, the last video, I wanted to show it at the end, and then I forgot, so... Here it is, and it's and that that's crossed off that number, but that's the number I believe you need to be calling if you want to get in touch with Christy. And here's I love this business card by the way. It's really cool looking. I like the, all the little crystals and their points and stuff. It's pretty neat. But this store is really cool, and we met Christy a few times. She's really, really super nice, and she's super helpful, so if you guys ever need anything. And the people there, they are very, very nice and very, very helpful and stuff like that. So if you're looking for a certain crystal or rock or anything, they should be able to find, you know, help you find it um, in the store if they have it. If not, maybe they can order it. I, just, I don't know for a fact yet, but... I have I have yet to test that out because actually that's a good question. Like I'm wondering if they'll order stuff, but um, because in particular there's certain things that people are looking for, you know, certain stones and whatnot. So it's kind of nice and crystals, of course. So we are going to do a crystals haul today, and. I did not put, I'm not putting, uh, I, there was two bigger purchases that we made there. And uh, they, excuse me, they are so heavy. I wouldn't be able to carry them up the stairs because they're that heavy. Um, they're bigger crystals. So we're going to have to wait on those. And my hair, I know it looks like crap right now, but... <laughs> It's just because I have it underneath this blanket thing. I just really, really got to way too much sun and it hurts so much. I think it's going to start blistering. Well, let's do this one first. I was going to do the other bag, but the other bag is really heavy. So we're going to do this bag first. Um, these are cute little bags that they give you at the place. And of course, I did my favorite thing. The $20 gift bags. This is what they look like. And they're usually stapled shut. So you really can't see what's in them. And they go like this. And well. It'll say the $20 on them. And stuff like that. But they go more like. Maybe like this. Where they're stapled shut. And then they sit on a shelf. And you can go pick one out. You don't know. Whatever you're getting. You don't have any idea. Sometimes I just kind of feel around the bags to see what I can find or whatever. And so, so I got two this time. 
last time I think I got like four or something. It was, I love doing these though. They're fun. And of course, I always get the spears. Every time I get the spears. Oh, I'm getting a little tired because I did a lot of gardening today and I did a lot of housework. So, because my fr I'm getting ready, get we're getting our house ready for company. Not that we need to get, you know, clean it all and all that stuff. It's just, you know, just a little bit of the, you know what I'm saying, like make sure everything's in order type of thing. So this is going to be the first bag and... This time I got a rose quartz spear. My husband and my friend, they're like, why are you, you're always getting these spears. You're always getting the spears. We don't get the spears every time. I don't, I have no clue on how or why um, I get the spears, but I do. I think it's just out of pure luck for me and and there's times where I'm feeling the bag and seeing if, you know, feeling to see if there's like something like this in there too. So this is a rose quartz um, spear. And this one is worth $17. So it's $17 in a $20 gift bag. And then I got another spear in here. And you can see the name of it on there. And this one is a $20 spear. So I'm already ahead because I got the $17 spear and this one both in the same bag. So, I mean, I'm already ahead. And remember, I only spent $20 on, these bag, on this bag. And then I got some cute... I want to, I'm not sure what these, what these are. I still have to look up these rock names, but, um, this one's a $2 rock. And then this one, I kind of think they're from the same family, but I'm not sure. This one's a $2 rock as well. And I think that's all of them that's in here. Now, some of the other ones that we got last week, last week was really awesome, really. Because, I mean, once the gift bags are gone, they're gone, you know. So, um, But last week, we got some really cool ones. We got this gift bag that was like full, or grab bag, I should say. That was like full of crystals. And they came with, like, these little things. I showed you on the last video, but I'll show you. What. These were in, like, the bags where the white bags, the $20 ones. They had a unicorn, and they had this one. My friend gave me this one. And she opened it up because this is like a tea light holder. But inside of here was full of crystals, and it kept coming. Like, they kept coming out. It was crazy. On all the crystals she got. And then I went back and I got this guy. And I didn't even know he was going to be in the bag. And I got, and there was tons and tons of crystals in here too. And this is like a tea light holder. So they're both cute. And this one has a hook on it. But I don't think the unicorn has a hook. So I don't know what I'll do with him. I'm thinking I'll hang him up somewhere. But they're, they were cute. But they were full of crystals. And it was so awesome. Okay. This is the next grab bag. $20 grab bag again. They have a $10 one. Actually, you know what? You can see my... You can see my... It's just... I'm getting a little warm. So I'm like... <laughs> Ouch. Oh, the straps hurt. Yeah. It... It's not fun having to deal with the sun. I, you know, I wanted to wear sunscreen, but these sunscreens keep giving me hives. My skin's super, super sensitive. So I got to be careful on what I use on my skin to begin with. So whenever I spray myself down with, uh, with, um, protecting my skin with like, you know, sunscreen, it never helps because I always get hives. I don't know why. 
And so I got to be careful. And I tried to garden them this morning, but I got up late because I was so exhausted. We didn't get home until like maybe midnight or after one o'clock in the morning. So I was exhausted, even though I'm a night owl. I've been somewhat of a morning person lately. So I got up at 530, but the night before we still like the night before the yesterday morning, I went to bed at like what two o'clock or something I think it was it was like two something I think and I got up at five o'clock so I was so tired <laughs> okay guys let's get into this here is out of the $20 gift bag I got another spear and it's so pretty look at all the little colors in here and this one was $20. It's a $20 spear. And this one says onyx, but I thought those were only supposed to be black, but maybe not. Maybe there's this is a special type of onyx. And I'm probably going to put it... Oh, excuse me. Ugh. I'm getting tired right now. Um, it's I'm probably going to put it on my little my shelf with the other ones and here's another two dollar stone that i got in the same thing with the spear and everything it's kind of like the other ones that i bought and they're two dot this one's two dollars just like the other ones i think they're basically they, sh they look like they're the same thing so and then i got Here's another one. This one's another $2 stone. And so you can kind of see it. Okay, I'm going to set that inside there. And then... I got this cool stone. This one here is, it's really pretty because like you can't really see the prettiness on camera or whatever, but if the light just hits it just right, like the sun, it starts to give out this hue of like a blue and like turquoise thing. And maybe you can kind of see a little bit. And this one was worth $17. So, I mean, you get your money's worth when you get the gift bags of crystals and things. But it's really pretty. Now you can kind of see some of this reflective right here. That's what the whole thing looks like. When the light just hits it just right. It's so pretty. I wish it would show up better on the camera, but it's not really showing up better on the camera, but... It's really, really pretty colors. It reminds me so much of like an iridescent like peacock feather or something. So you can kind of see it right there. There, now you can kind of see it. Where it's moving like right in there. It's really, really pretty though. I like this rock. And it's round too, so it's really neat. And if you hear band in, in the background, it's because they're practicing the band. And we don't live, like, that close to the school or anything, but they you can still hear them. I wish that this thing would show up more, because this is a really cool one. Cool stone. Oh, I have a piece of fuzz in my hair again. I hate that. It's probably from my blanket. This blanket likes to give off some fuzzies once in a while, so that's probably what it is. Thank you. All right. And here is the next bag. This bag is heavy because I bought, I ended up buying a lot of stuff. 
And I wasn't really, I mean, it was, I wasn't really planning on buying some of this stuff. I was looking for a crystal clear quartz that would sit up with the rest of my shelves, which you guys will see, um, the new Jennifer's Lair. I'm going to show you the whole room in a video coming soon. So stay tuned for that. I'm just trying to finish up like some finishing touches here and there. I've got a couple things I have to buy yet. Like I want to get lampshades because I don't have any lampshades and I'm not sure if I'll get them before the video or not because the ones I want, they're kind of expensive and I want to make sure that I get something that I like. So, and I don't want to hurry and rush everything and stuff like that. So I might be, you know, just not having the lampshades on when you guys come and tour or whatever. But I am going to do um, my handles of my all of my uh, drawers and things. I want to replace the handles with like, they're ordinary handles right now. The pulls on the drawers, they're ordinary. I want to like spruce it up a little bit. I already did like one set of my little drawer things. I have black skulls on them and I still want to do like something cool for like the other ones and I'm trying to figure out what I want to do yet because on Etsy there's like so many different sellers that do different things so I'm trying to find the right one that'll suit this room just perfect and try to figure out a color and that kind of thing. I, I'm kind of torn because it's like I don't want white even though this room is like a lot of black and white. The problem is is that if you do white over time will it get become like you know from your all your oils and your skin and stuff will it become like yellow over time or something like that. You just never know. So I'm just thinking I don't know if I want white. But I don't know if I want black yet either. So, And I'm thinking maybe silver might be the way to go. But I'm not 100% sure yet. So that's all up in the air yet. And I'm still trying to decide whether or not I want to do that or whatever. But, um, you know, the room is almost finished, guys. It's almost done. I know I've had like a lot of different things popping up and... And I haven't had the time that I needed to finish the room. And I'm working on it and stuff. So, I mean, I'm working on it. That's all you guys, you know, you guys will understand when you get to see it on how much I've actually worked in this room. So, um, I hope that you enjoy it for sure. <laughs> or at least enjoy the sneak peeks that you're seeing now because I'm in the new room. So... But anyways, we're getting back to this video because I got sidetracked again. Here is um like a little type of a stone that's shaped like a moon. I thought this was really cute. And I always wanted, you know, like a little moon shaped one. This one is $15. And it's really, really pretty. I like it. It's almost like a grayish black. But on camera, it almost look, get, has like this brownish tint to it or something. But it's like silver and like gray and things like that. It's really neat. So. And then we have more. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Here we go. This I really, really liked, and so I, I really wanted to get this piece. I looked at it last time, and then passed it up, and then looked at it again, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to get this. Look at how pretty this is. And this was $22. So, and it's really, really pretty. I really, really love this one. It's just really neat. And, you know, you could set it down like this then, you know, and then set it on one of your shelves or whatever. And so I am going to be doing just that because this thing is is going to be awesome to set on my shelves. It's just another have-to-have -have piece. <laughs> and I'm going to, until I can set it on my shelf, I'm going to wrap it back up where it belongs. 
because I don't want it breaking. And I'll probably be setting my setting it up on the shelf as after the after this video. After I oh yes. Now this one is really in particularly beautiful. And I've never seen anything like it. I'm glad that the camera's able to pick up. Look at how clear this is. And it's got this like really pretty rainbow thing going through it. I saw this and I was like, you know what? I need this. I need this in my life. And I kept going back to it. And um, it's it was $17 for this little thing. But it's beautiful. I mean, it just really is. And it's so clear and everything, and it's, you know, it just sparkles and shines and does all this really cool stuff. This is really pretty to look at. So I got this one. This is $17, so. And I, you know, I'm collecting stuff now like this, so I'm going to spend a little bit of money on the, on this stuff because... Well, it's just fun to spend the money on something that I'm enjoying. So, and I'm definitely enjoying this. Oh, yeah, this is my fluorite one. Oh, I love this one. I have some in my room, but it, they're not exactly like this. I mean, they're the pillar, but it's more like they're not as shiny but they're a pillar and stuff like that. So I've got like a lot of different ones, but this is fluorite. And look at how beautiful it is. I love all the purples and like the blues and like this, there's like a little bit of a green color in them and stuff too. And then you've got like your clear color too on the bottom of it. It's just really neat. And it's another one of those pillars where I can set on my shelf. And this was 35 bucks. So it was 35 for this. I wanted to get the other fluoride one. There's a fluoride one that was just like, it had like just the blue. It was like a darker blue. And it was uh, 40, I think $45. And I kept going back to it and I didn't pick it up. And I should have, I just should have gotten that. But maybe I can, you know, get get another one sometime or something. So at least maybe I hope anyway. And here's the next thing. I got a tiger's eye. Now, when we got those gift bags or, or whatever it was, I swear that I had, I got two of these in the same pack. And I could now I can't find it. So they got lost. So I ended up buying myself another tiger's eye because I've wanted one for a long time, tiger's eye. And so I finally got a little pillar of kill of tiger's eye. So and it's really pretty. And this one was $20. So it's $20. And you can also set this one up. And they actually go with my other ones on my shelf. Because I've got a bunch of other ones on my shelf. My whole goal is to collect as many of these as possible. So I could have like a whole shelf full. Which would be awesome. Because <laughs> that would just be fun. And here's the next one. This is an amethyst. Amethyst is like my favorite one and last time I didn't pick up an amethyst and I know why because this one's shaped different than the others and I really like the other ones shaped better see how this one's shaped and this one's like so much bigger it's taller than that one so this one might not fit on my shelf but I'll just have to find another spot for it but I just really wish that they made this into like something like this and had it be amethyst. I mean, they had smaller ones there. I have a lot of smaller ones, but I wanted like, you know, this, like have it be this tall and have it be amethyst, you know? But this is amethyst, guys, and I really love it. So I bought it. It reminds me somewhat of like a tombstone or something. But it is beautiful, and uh, I love, like I said, amethyst is one of my favorites of all of the stones. I always go to amethyst for a lot of different things, so this is going to come in real handy. And this was $25, 
So I love, I just love my rocks. So if I can find some rocks, I know I should be saving my money for Halloween, but I have a lot of Halloween stuff and I'm just kind of like, I don't really know anymore. I'm trying to be, I'm trying to like get more decorative items for my room and stuff like that. And, uh, well, these are it. Ooh. Excuse me. Oh, not again. Oh, I'm trying not to yawn. And I even have had caffeine. Um, here is another little stone. This one's $5. And it's really pretty. And I'm going to set it inside one of my... I think I'm going to set it in... The, I have a crescent moon one. You guys will see it um, when I get it. I have a crescent moon shelf from uh, Earthbound. So I'm, I think you guys saw that in one of my hauls. Uh, it might go on before this one. But, um, yeah, so I did an Earthbound haul, and then there was a Black Pearl Moon haul. And so those are on there, too. But this is a beautiful crystal there. So, and we're going to set that there. So, yeah, I'm excited to get all these crystals put away and see how they look on my shelves. Here is a uh, Crystal Clear Quartz, and this one was $5. I love crystal clear quartz. You can use this for basically anything. And it's just, I mean, for me, I love decorating with this stuff because it's just so pretty. And I love having crystals around me. And I feel like it's such a positive vibe, you know. You just, you get this positive vibe thing going on. And it's just like, mm-hmm. And this one here. I got two pieces of this. Now, these were on the dollar wall. So, um, she has a dollar wall, which has, like, you know, their little ones, you know, little rocks and whatnot. These were, this was in the dollar wall, or on the dollar wall. And this one here is another crystal clear quartz. And if you hear a ball playing or whatever, it's Mooney. She's playing with her cat toy. We have four cats, by the way. We have Mooney, Charm, Punky, and Raven. So we have all cute kitties. And we have Luna outside. Here is this one. We want to bring her in, but we'll see. She's a stray right now, so I want to bring her in, though. $5. $5 for this crystal clear quartz. Oh, no. One of my crystals fell. I've got it. Ready then? Okay, so then I bought some of these uh, bigger rocks, which I love. And these will go around the room too. I just love like filling my room full of crystals and stuff. This one's a rose quartz. Beautiful rock. And I can't remember, I think these were the $3 possibly. The tags fell off of them, so I don't know how much they were. And I can't, and, uh, well, I could have looked on the receipt, but the receipt's been emailed to me, so. And I can't check it now because I'm recording from my phone. <laughs> so I can't, I don't know how much those were. I think, I want to say they were $3. They could have been 5 but I don't know. And then I got another one as well, so. Another rose quartz. And let's see. This is a fluorite piece. And I really like fluorite. I think it's really pretty because I love all the colors it comes in. And purple is one of the one of my favorite colors that, you know, well, bl other than black and, you know, this one would be like one of the top favorite colors is I love I love purple and red. Oh, I'm trying to not yawn, but I'm getting a little tired tonight. Like I said, I've had a long day in the sun. And this is three bucks, so. I'm glad I got the fluorite pieces. Because 
I do have some smaller pieces, but I like having like bigger ones. And here's a beautiful rock. And there's the bottom of it. It's just a really pretty rock. And I thought, you know what? This was perfect for my collection. So I got it. And I think this was $3 as well. And here's another dollar rock. And I did pick up some more rocks when I went on my walk. We went to, um, I don't, I always want to say Minnehaha Falls, but that's not it. It's in Mankato. It's Minneopa, Minneopa Park. We went there. They have buffaloes. You can drive through and see the buffalo or whatever. And then we went to the waterfall and I keep bringing, I just keep, uh, I keep finding rocks around the area. So I just got some rocks. $3 for this little thing here. And so I'm going to put that in one of my shelves as well. All of these little rocks, they're going to go on my shelves and crystals and things. I just like to have a variety. <laughs> and my rocks keep falling down. And then I got another one, another rose quartz. I decided this time I was going to get four. So that's that actually worked out really well. Because I like to make sure that I get... Well, and then I got another one of these, which is awesome. And these were $3 a piece. So, and they're pretty. They remind me of like an orange. Like, I just want to eat it. <laughs> and then I got another crystal clear quartz. This one is really pretty. And this one was in the dollar bin. So if you go there, like they have a dollar wall. She has a dollar wall and you can get all kinds of different stones and shells. And I think there's even some driftwood you can pick out or whatever too. So she's got like a whole bunch of stuff that you can pick from on the dollar wall. This one here was a fluorite piece and it's $7 for a little, for one of these little ones. But I really like fluorite, so it's really pretty. I just love all the colors that they come in. But I really love the purple, the dark and lighter purples. And sometimes there's like a blues and all that stuff. So uh, this is a really cool stone. Punky came in here. Hi, Punky Monkey. What are you doing? <laughs> and here's another piece of this. And some of these were in the dollar bins. This one, I believe, was in the dollar bin, so it only cost me a buck. And this one here is another fluorite piece. And it was uh, $7 for that. this one. You know, sometimes you just got to go there and... You know, treat yourself. And I hope to, I hope I can go there again because I'm really obsessed with this store. If I lived closer by, I'd be, like, going there all the time. <laughs> but I come from Iowa to go shopping there, so. And here is this. This one got a little bit of dirt on the... It's not really dirt, but it's like something. I just thought this one was really pretty. And it was in the dollar bin. And this one is probably another dollar bin one, too. I just go through them all and look and see which ones I like. And this is another dollar bin one. I think I got like 21 rocks from the dollar bin. <laughs> This time, last time, I think I got 40 some rocks from the dollar bin. I like them, they're cute. Oh, here's some obsidian, like a moon rock, and they're really pretty. Like, I love them, and these are like square ones, they're like in a little square. It's cute. 
And I'll probably put these on my shelf too for display. I also have like a little bowl that helps to keep them charged and stuff. I thought that was cute that they got, they have those. And it's in the hall, uh, the other hall that you guys um, was watching or whatever, if it's up. That's if it's up. I don't know what order I'm doing. I know I have to do, like, the catching up with me because, like, there's a lot that's been going on here. And that's one of the reasons why I'm late doing my room as well. There's, like, lots of different reasons. So, check that out to catch up with my, my life because it just gets hectic a lot. This one's a dollar from the dollar bin, but it's really, it's got some clear parts on it. It's really pretty. I love, I love clear quartz. I love all the quartz, smoky quartz, rose quartz. They even have a fire quartz, which is really neat. I didn't even realize that they had a fire quartz, but they do. Oh yes, I bought a cat's eye. I gave the other one, my other orange cat eye to my husband because I got it in a one of the um, $20 grab bags. So, but this is my little cat eye orange one. And, you know, I do like orange because it reminds me of Halloween. So that's why I got it. And these were from the dollar bin, dollar uh, wall, I should say. And this is just like a little piece of fluorite. And here's another piece of fluorite. It's really pretty. Now Raven decides that she's going to clean herself. So if you hear anything like that, that's why. <laughs> and I don't remember what this is. But I was like, oh, cool. Some of these rocks are just, you know, I can't wait to like put them in my little dish. Because some of them are so small that they are going to go in my dish, which is on display. I also have a basket full of rocks, too. Different kinds and stuff. Here is another fluorite. And, of course, no guess, it's purple again. You know, some of this stuff, like this fluorite, kind of reminds me of, like, an amethyst in a way, too. An amethyst is my favorite rock of all time. This one's $3. So it wasn't as expensive as the other two, but, and I didn't get any, I don't think I, I got the like dark blue. There was a dark blue fluorite rock too, but I didn't get that one. And it was close to the front, but I forgot about that. And here's another one. This one's just, it was different. So I was like, I'm going to pick this up. I don't, <laughs> it's a little square. Oh, hello. <laughs> and here's another piece of fluorite. Oh, and I dropped it on the floor. I'm doing a lot of dropping stuff. I have the drops tonight, I think. Here's a tar another cat eye. They have all different colors of these cat eyes in the little dollar bin thing. The dollar wall, I should say. Which I love that she has a dollar wall. Because then you can collect as many as you would like. You know, you don't have to like stop and go, oh, these are like, you know, kind of a lot of money. And then you can just collect the little ones. And then if you like them, because you like the way that they kind of give you vibes or whatever, then you can always get the bigger ones. Spend more money on bigger ones, which is awesome. Which I cannot wait to do because I want to get some bigger ones eventually. And here's another cat's eye that I got. And these are each a dollar, the little cat's eyes. And she's got all different colors of them. I showed some on my last video. There was a purple one and stuff. It's in my little bowl, my charging bowl. Which, you know what? I should have got a second charging bowl because I need it. Which I'll probably get maybe hopefully next time I go there. 
But my husband and I, like, he goes, he goes, when he took me this last time and the very first time, he's like, I'm not going to spend any money in there. I'm not going to spend any money in there. He spent more than I did. He got this, like, huge rose quartz, like, egg thing. And then he got a amethyst. A big amethyst. And he's like, oh, I'm really not spending the money on me. It's more of the house. And it's like, mm hmm Like, he, it was so funny, though. I'm not going to spend any money in that store. I'm not. He gets a, he actually goes and grabs a $20 bag thing. And then he got, like, this dragon. I want to say it was, like, a dragon's blood. Like, it was, like, a bigger... It was like more, let's see, where is it? Oh, I don't have any. It's the spears that I showed earlier. He got like a bigger one. Then, uh, and he just is like, this is calling to me. I had to have it. And so he bought it. And maybe I shouldn't just be buying smaller ones or whatever. But right now I'm trying to get my collection on my shelf. I'm trying to get everything going on my shelf so that's kind of why I'm doing what I'm doing um but as soon as I get more stuff on my shelves and stuff then I'll probably get some more big ones I have a couple big ones but I didn't get them from there I got them like a while back like home goods had one and I actually got lucky with that one it's an amethyst and it's pretty big but you guys will see it in the video and I'll show you everything and kind of, I'll probably tell you where the decor is from and stuff like that in the video too and get like kind of technical about it. Just so if you guys can find it, you guys will know where to find it if you guys can find it. And then, you know, so that's just, you know, that's kind of what I think I'm going to do for you guys. Uh, I also found this and I forgot to put this in my last, my last, uh, video and I was going to show you guys this because this was at my local Dollar General. I was walking out of the store and I actually had to go back and pick it up because I'm like, ooh, I love this. It says the truth behind the legends and lore of witch, uh, witches inside their mysterious world, psychics, mystics, and healers. Secrets of the Craft, Tragedy of the Burning Times, plus Modern Day Magic Spells, Spirits, Sacred Stones, and more. So it goes through like a lot of different things, but I just love the picture on the cover. That is just like super, super cool. And then on the back, it's got some really, really pretty pictures that I think is, they're just really neat. So, um, yeah, but I love this book. Um, it has, like, a lot of cute things in here. And I'm trying to find, like, it's got, like, um, like, the evolution of witches and stuff. And, like, the enchanting history of witches. And in popular culture, your inner witch, the craft today, enchanting history... There's, like, a bunch of stuff, and they do, like, they go through the crystals and stuff. I think this is kind of a neat little picture, too, of the witches stuff. But I just love books that have really nice, like, pictures like this and stuff like that. And, like, you know, they're getting through, like, magic's moment. That's kind of pretty, too. You guys can see that. I'm trying to see if I can find what I'm... Oh, yeah. And it also goes through, like, movies and stuff like that. Uh, it's part of the enchanting history of the pages. And it goes through, like... It's got pictures of, like, the craft, the movie, which is kind of neat. And then, of course, it's got Harry Potter down there too or whatever I'm not really I don't know why but like I kind of do know why I'm not into Harry Potter but I mean it's just because my ex he was like so into him and he wanted to look like him and everything it was just really weird and then 
I don't know. <laughs> I mean, every time we had a date night, he'd always want to watch Harry Potter all night long. And it's like, do we have to watch Harry Potter? <laughs> and then, um, you know, he, I liked Twilight and he liked Harry Potter. And I'm sorry if I like, you know, not sorry, sorry that I like, not sorry that I like Twilight. I love Twilight. I think it's cool. And I don't know. There's just something about it that I like. I like the romance. And I also like the vampires. Because the vampires, like, they're good ones, you know. They they don't eat uh, people. Even though some people would... <laughs> I mean, if I was a vampire, I people who would make me upset would just be gone. Like, I would just eat them and be over with them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry I kicked the camera but that's just the way <laughs> the way I I would roll I think I wouldn't be a very nice vampire I don't think <laughs> not like them and I probably would save animals and eat people instead because just because of the fact that people aren't very nice and animals are way nicer you know I'm trying to, I need to move the camera. Sorry, guys. But there is like a glare coming from my light now because the sun has gone down. And, and uh, so there's like a glare because there's a light right here and you can't see it in the video. And that that's, but it's just like coming this way, you know. So uh, where is it? It's making this really weird, like almost like fog over here or something. And it's just the shadow. Oh, and here's a picture of, like, the craft of today. Which I think is real. This, these books are really neat. And they keep coming out with them. I keep finding all kinds of different ones. I have, like, a bunch of different ones. Which maybe I should do, like, maybe a little bit of a, like, show and tell, like, haul video type thing of them. I know I my channel does a lot of hauls and stuff like that. Um, but I mean, it's, I, I find the coolest things. I just want to share them with everyone so that you guys can collect them too, if you want. And you guys will know where you, where you find them. This one's kind of cool. Getting familiars with your familiars, which is kitties. Oh, I love kitties. This kitty here reminds me of my raven. Our raven is so beautiful. She's a pure black kitty. Black nose, black whiskers, black everything. She does not have anything color on her. Or white. Ooh. Ooh. I'm sorry, guys. The ultimate witch bucket list. So it'll show you like where you where you want to go to like look and see things. I really want to go to Salem, Massachusetts because I my relatives are from around that area. So I would love to go and visit my relatives and see um like the Salem Witch Museum and you know the the cemetery. There's this cool cemetery that I want to see. And actually, I think this is a picture of the cemetery if I remember correctly. I think this is a picture of the cemetery I would like to go see. And then there's the Salem Witch Museum. I would love to go see some of these because they're just, that would be so much fun for me. And I would love to go see uh, Stonehenge because Stonehenge is pretty neat. There's like so many things I love. Oh, and guess what? It's on the bucket list. Here's like a little picture of the Stonehenge, which I would love to see. It's really neat. And if you play, um, oh, if you play, what do you call it? Um, what is that? Oh, I'm, my mind is just, just like gone right now. The, what is it called? Oh my gosh. Animal Crossings. That's what it is. I have Stonehenge. Because it came from a balloon, and I got Stonehenge, and it's so cool. 
And of course I put it on there. And of course I'm wearing a witch hat and I'm running around my island with like a witch hat. And everything is spooky because I have everything decorated for Halloween. <laughs> Just like in real life. <laughs> Goth, Halloween, witchy, <laughs> Victorian. Love it. And plants, of course. Fake plants. <gasps> In the inside, not the outside. The outside, I have lots and lots of plants. I probably shouldn't have all the lilies, but I didn't know we had some stray cats around, so I planted lilies. And lilies are one of my favorite flowers. Well, it would be roses, then lilies, then irises. That's kind of where it goes, and then it goes, you know, then all the other flowers come after that. And then there's one on the book. It says, Finding Your Path, which I think is kind of neat. Yeah, there's like so many different things in this book. What's your sign? Of course, I am Capricorn, and I've heard we're bitches. <laughs> we're bitches of the horoscope world. <laughs> we're not nice. We are very, I don't even know what to say about it. And here's some, a picture and it says spell work, which I think is really pretty. And then this is really neat too. I like that photo in the book. That'd be kind of a cool tattoo possibly, you know. Having the flames and the roses and stuff. And crystal clear. Reminds me of some... Oh, excuse me, of my crystals. And then it comes into play. Here's some of the, some of the crystals. Now, I don't know if they mention amethyst or anything. But they do mention rose quartz. And Tiger's Eye and a couple others. And I'm trying to think. Nope, they don't they don't mention amethyst. I'm trying to Oh, I'm going to bed early tonight. I'm so freaking tired. I have, I mean, I've been working really, really hard around, you know, planting stuff. Uh, we have stray cats, so I'm trying to catch them and get them fixed and doing all this other stuff. I'm tired, you know, like I am exhausted. And then the housework and then I've got my own cats inside and all this stuff. It's just one thing after another, so... I'm working on stuff for real. It's just taking me a while to get everything done. It's just because I've got so much to do. Oh, and look, there's my favorite witches. <laughs> Except for Prue isn't on that picture. It's Paige, Paige Piper and Phoebe, and Prue isn't there. And then you've got the other ones, but I'm not into these. The newer Charmed. I'm just into that Charmed. I love it. The original Charmed is way better. I can't get into the other one. And, I mean, I know that they've had two seasons of it already or whatever. I just can't get into it. I, I don't really know what's going on, but I just can't get into it. And that is all. But this book was at uh, Dollar General, and I believe, what is it, for um, $13.99. And it was, it's supposed to be out display unit. It was supposed to be Ju uh, July 11th, 22. So maybe I'll be able to get it, like, before, you know. Um, maybe I'll get it after you see this, but... This one was at our Dollar General already, and it was on, but this one says it's for July already, July 11th, 22. That's kind of crazy. Whatever, though, I'll take it, because I love this. 
this cover just caught my eye and then I started reading. I'm like, ooh, this is really good. <laughs> so guys, this is my video for today. I'm sorry that I was just so tired and things, but I just been really working a lot of on a lot of different projects and I'm just really beat. Anyways, guys, if you haven't already and you like what you see here, please subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell, notification bell, so you can get notifications on when I update new videos. Since I don't really have a day yet or days set a week because I don't know if I would be able to produce the videos you guys want for the days of the week, so I haven't really put them out yet. But um, if you guys are in Mankato, Minnesota, check out Christie's Crystals um, shop. It's downtown Mankato, and it's really, it's really a cool place, and I, I love it so much. So go check her shop out because it is completely awesome, and I love it so much. And yeah, you can find some really awesome things there. And don't forget to pick up a twenty dollar gift. Uh, one of those $20 bags. Um, it, they're just fun. Grab bags. Because you're always going to get over $20 worth in those bags. So, well, hopefully, anyway. I hope she doesn't change what she's doing. Because it's really awesome. And it makes you want to buy more. I really wanted to go in and go, just one more. Because <laughs> it's kind of a joke of mine. Because, like. The last time I saw, uh, or I went there, Christie's Crystals, I was telling my husband, oh, just one more. Oh, just one more. Oh, just one more. <laughs> even, even the crystals, oh, just one more. Just one more. <laughs> and so it kind of turned into a joke here. Just one more. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Please subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you. The Spooky family will welcome you so very much. I hope you guys are awesome. Stay magical. Stay nice to each other. And I'll see you uh, next time on Jennifer's Lair. Bye.